Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do Ava's 10 month update. So Ava turns 10 months on the 22nd of the month and I just wanted to do a review of how and what she has achieved this last month. Um, so this last month she has achieved a lot in my opinion. Um, on Christmas Day, we actually caught it on camera when we were opening her Christmas presents, if anybody's mm -hmm. seen that yeah. video. Um, she stood up on her own for the very first time. Mm -hmm. So pulled up on a, um, on a, on a surface, on her own. So she kind of had been, you know, pulling her hands up but not actually achieving it. Um, but on Christmas Day, for the very first time, when she opened um, one of her presents, yeah! Oh, the slobbers and um, she did that she she pulled up on her own and um, so she's trying to get the camera here now and um, so yeah so that was that was a good moment and then on the 4th of January she started crawling and um, so she now is flying around the place she can't stop her turn your back for two seconds and she's like off somewhere and um, so Going with the whole crawling situation and pulling herself up to stand, yeah. um, she can now just stand on her own away from a surface. Um, so she can do that for about a second or two maybe. Oh no baby, you can't have that, you can't have that. So yeah, she stands for about one or two seconds on her own um, away from a surface and then she notices and freaks out. Um, so yeah, I have to take off my camera off the surface because she just wants it. Um, in another video, I'm, I'm going to in a video. I think maybe on the last day of the month, I think I'm going to put it up. And um, I'm going to do like a January re reflection. But basically, I don't work anymore. And since I have stopped working, she is very clingy toward me. And um, she won't let me move anywhere without her um, being with me crawling over to me. I can't make anything, do anything, go anywhere without her being clingy. If we go visit the grandparents, and even with Robert, she is straight back over to me. And um, so she's super clingy, going through a super clingy phase, aren't you? <gasps> yes, you are. Yeah, is that you in there? Um, so she now has five teeth. She has two on the bottom and three at the top. So she has her two front teeth and one of the teeth on the left, I think it is, um, beside it. So there is a fourth tooth at the top waiting, ready and waiting to come in. So then she will have six teeth. Um, so we're currently going through some teething and there will be some teething type videos up in February. Um, so make sure that you check them out and if you have babies you'll know all this information but um, it's always nice to know the signs and then maybe you might f notice a new product that you can you can use um, so that's what they're basically going to be about um, so she over the Christmas period around the 27 28 I'd say mm -hmm. we put her in her own room and she is in her new cot, so we bought a cot bed when she was like not born, when I was pregnant. Yeah. We bought a cot bed, and she now is in that in her own room. It has been a bit of a transition, I'm not gonna lie. It hasn't went as smoothly as I wanted it to. She does seem to wake up a lot, and she fights going to bed a lot in that room. Um, so we're working on it some nights she goes down no problem and some nights she just wants to like fight me all the time fight robert all the time um so she can wave hello and bye bye day day and um, she doesn't really like doing day day anymore but she will wave hello now and um, sometimes you know babies babies do things when they feel like doing things really um with regards to her sleeping, her bottle situation, she has four bottles in a day and two to three solid meals. So her meals go, she has porridge every single morning. She loves porridge. I think I could feed her porridge all day and she'd be okay with that. I then give her a kind of finger food for her lunch if she's here with me. If she's with the grandparents, she gets some sort of spoon feed because um, they're just more comfortable doing that. Um, but um, I 
give her finger food, whether it's like toasted wholemeal bread, um, apples, oranges, peppers, like those sorts of things as finger food. And then for her dinner, she'll have some sort of meal. So sometimes if we're having a meal, we'll just blend it up and give it to her. And excuse me, you're in my camera. And, um, and then sometimes I just make stuff especially for her. And um, the very odd time I would buy kind of store made ones, but she's never really a fan of them. To be honest with you and to be completely transparent, she's not a great eater for me. Um, Robert's mom seems to have the knack of getting her to eat. Um, I don't, I don't have it. I have now relaxed myself a bit. I was getting very cut up about how she wouldn't eat for me. Um, but I've just, I've now realize I need to relax about it and she seems to be more receptive to that. Obviously I was working myself up too much for her. I was getting a bit angsty about it. Um, her sleep wise, so she would go asleep around 8 p.m. and she would wake anywhere between 3 and 5 a.m. for a bottle. Um, and then she'd go straight back to sleep generally. The odd night she wouldn't, she'd kind of fight it for a bit. But generally she'd go straight back to sleep and she'd sleep until 7 or 8. Um, then she has a nap around 10 o'clock in the morning for two hours and then around half two, three o'clock for two hours again. Again, that varies, you know, sometimes it'll be an hour, sometimes it'll be an hour and a half and two hours. But generally it's around an hour and a half to two hours her naps during the day are. So they're great. Um, so I ha I'm glad I have her on that kind of sleep schedule because I find that the more she sleeps during the day, the more easier it is for me to get her to sleep at night and we um she has eczema i think i've mentioned this a number of times and um, but it's getting pretty bad now we're starting to get a big flare up of it again and i will say that i haven't brought her to my doctor about this because i know that she's probably just going to recommend steroid cream and we have fought it so far with um like kind of herbal creams or or over the store counter creams um, and some oils and stuff so Obviously, if it gets extremely bad or it looks infected or any of those things, obviously, I'm going to go straight to the doctor. But right now, we're just trying to fight it with um, natural, alcohol-free, fragrance-free creams and all those sorts of stuff. Um, but weight-wise and height-wise, again, we haven't been anywhere to any doctor to know those stats. Um, but I did wear myself, and I think she's around 28 pounds and around 33 inches, which will obviously keep her under her percentile, which is like 98, 99. Um, but she's been like that since she was born, so she's staying on that. And I think they say that once she starts like, crawling and walking, she'll lose some weight, she'll get leaner, and then she'll move down percentile. But right now, it doesn't really matter. Um, she starts to do some funny things now, where if I'm putting her in her high chair, her buggy, um, even just trying to put her to sit on the ground, she goes stiff as a board and like won't let you like bend her to sit her down. Especially, it's really hard to get her in her car seat. Um, she just does that the whole time, and you think you've got her, and then all of a sudden she'll spring back straight again. Um, she also, during last weekend, she did kind of have a little choking episode and um, obviously we acted appropriately doing the baby kind of CPR and the maneuver thingy. Um, and since then, she's decided to take advantage of the situation and anytime she eats food, she pretends to choke. She makes choking noises. Um, now, I have become accustomed to this and I always will check her to make sure that she's not actually choking. But pretty much every time now she's been pretending to choke because she knows that we'll react to her. Um, so that's something that she's learned that mommy and the nannies and daddies and everybody will react to her if she does that. Um, so there's some of the little quirks that we have with Ava, isn't it? She's so very good though. She's a very good baby. The light isn't great there. But she has still has red hair, blue eyes. Um, her hair is getting extremely curly. If you were on my Snapchat, I put up kind of pictures of it, but you can see it there. Um, her hair is getting curly. I do have curly hair. And the red hair comes from my mom's side. I always have people asking me that. 
um, my, the red hair, my mom has red hair and um, my, both my aunt and my uncle, two uncles I think have red hair. Um, so yeah, I think that is really it. Um, if you're interested in me doing like a baby routine, as in like following her routine for the day or just a nighttime routine, what we do at night for her, or a morning routine, let me know and I will definitely schedule those videos. Um, or if you're interested in day, of, day in the life type videos, just let me know if you have any videos that you're interested in. And myself, um, oh thank you, you give me a kiss. Are you giving me a kiss? Yeah, are oh, you showing everyone your toy? Is that your toy? Yeah. So um, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. It'll just be here in the middle. Um, if you like it, give it a big old thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Yeah, she opens her mouth for kisses now sometimes. When you're lucky, she likes kisses. Yeah. Bye. Say day day. Say day day. Bye. Say day day, baby. Say day day.